This next episode of Overworked History is about the controversial invention of the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell, working with his assistant Thomas Watson, invented the telephone in 1876. On February 14, 1876, Bell filed a patent for his invention, and was granted on March 7th of that year. Days afterwards, he made his first phone call, saying, Mr. Watson, come here, I want you. Bell has since been memorialized as the father of the telephone, though the story may not be that simple. Italian immigrant Antonio Meusi was interested in the telephone as far back as 1849, which he called the Teletrofono. According to legend, Meusi demonstrated the Teletrofono in 1860. On December 28th of 1871, Meusi filed a caveat for the U.S. Patent Office which is a one-year notice announcing he would soon be filing a patent on the telephone. Meusi was unable to renew the caveat, and never raised the money to file a patent. Meusi was recognized by the U.S. House of Representatives in 2002 for his work in the invention of the telephone. Around the same time, Elisha Gray of Ohio was working on his own telephone. Previously, he invented a musical telegraph. Gray filed a caveat for the telephone on February 14th, 1876, the exact same day Bell filed his patent. Bell's patent was filed by his lawyer, who was the fifth person to submit a patent that day. Gray's lawyer was the 39th. There was some debate about whether Bell's patent application or Gray's caveat application took precedence. Ultimately, it was decided that Bell's lawyer arrived first, so Bell's patent should be honored. Elisha Gray went on to patent a machine which could transmit handwritten notes. In addition to Alexander Graham Bell, Antonio Meusi, and Elisha Gray, many others claim to be the telephone's real inventor. Thank you.